Hi, this is Lynch Nubley with Educating with Wisdom, and today we're discussing the extreme weather, God the Father, the binary divine couple, the LGBTQ, and the rainbow. All right. This is Lynch Nubley with Educating with Wisdom, and as I said, I'm the ambassador for Heaven's Creating and Protecting Goddesses and Archangels over Life. I have the karma of Elizabeth I as well as Mary Magdalene. Let's take a look at this picture because I understand how in the past, well, let me refrain back to this, and I better come out of this and look at me. We have extreme weather. And the extreme weather began, this dryness and the lack of rain began to build in 2011, right after my case handled, went into Barack Obama. And it was the whistleblowing that looked after not just what was happening to the girls in prisons, but in education, as well as what had happened with the military in Bush and the issue of changes in the environment, but most importantly, the binary system that was changing. Now, the men have known that the binary system was going to change for a long time because they always knew that the year 2000 was coming. And they knew in the prophecy itself that the men have already said there are prophets out there, uh, Joachim of Yor, Nostradamus, and others, as well as Micah, and others have already pointed out that the unary system, unitary system, will be changing into a binary system. And we have the whole brotherhood of men fighting this. Now, what's important to understand is that they engaged in patriarchal gender bending of those things that were positively feminine, and they ascribed all things negative to women. It was really something. And that gender bending just happens to be the name Yahava. So the name Yahava, as well as Sila, uh, Rachem for uterus, all of these are gender bending. And God the Father does not need to be gender bended. He's just fine the way he is. Now, the important thing we're going to be discussing is the whole issue of the fall and what is the divine couple actually like. In order for us to do that, and I know that there are other names that are found in uh, Sanskrit and Hinduism, although they lost part of their tradition, it is, believe it or not, part of it is obvious in Egypt as well as part of it is being spoken around the Levant in Mesopotamia. And these, this person is, the goddess is Hippa. And we're going to look at some of the derivations of Hippa, as well as the, um, the Hittite equivalent is Arena. And the god over weather, and some of the discussions are rather gruesome in terms of what's happening. They're always fighting the, the dragon, though, and, and the snake people. But they are over weather. And we are having, they're letting you know that what you're doing, and I'm talking about the support and the promotion, not just of the LGBTQ, but of in vitro fertilization, uh, the types of genetic work we're doing on plants and animals, the way we treat our animals, all of these things that fall under life are all up for grabs because they're all part of sexuality. They're all part of reproduction, whether it's plant-based, animal-placed, microbe-placed, it doesn't matter. It's not your place. Um, it is your place to observe, to see, to speak to, and to see how you can help things to heal by manipulating the environment around you after you've made things ill. It is not up to you to destroy and just use things for these purposes. Now, the importance of looking at Tishop, and you haven't looked at Tishop, you're not naming him, and Yahaba, the, the tetragonome, is, or the tetragram, is really a feminine noun. Just as humanity has three big X's and one little Y and the little Y can't produce life, the tetronome is, or the tetragram, is actually really gender bending and it's really more feminine. But God the Father has been stuck in there. So it's important to disaggregate both of them in order to understand the importance of both of their roles. And, um, and the Hindus are really very good in terms of some of the Sanskrit tradition of the Brahmin and uh, the Sarasvata and how Brahmin cannot be 
cannot be, what's the word I want to say? He, he's not supposed to be honored outside of some small little areas because he's polygamous. All right. He did a no-no. And he can't really fix the universe, the material universe or the earth, because he was trying to do it without Sarasvati. The issue of Tisha, Taru, or many of these other gods, even the Egyptian gods, is they're all faithful to their one female consort. Imagine that. They're faithful. They're not the slut god Zeus. Remember, I told you there's a real problem coming down from the north, and you can always tell because they want to produce, they want gold, and they talk about fire. I mean, fire was being worked in Africa like millennium and millennium and millennium and millennium ago, and we don't have to go there. It's not about that. It's about agriculture, and it's about knowing to put your clothes on and knowing right from wrong. But when we deal with water, and this is where God the Father is coming out, because God the Father himself is saying, I don't, and I don't agree with what the men are doing and what these women are doing. And they're back. I'm not looking at any newbies. You're all back. And you're trying to do things that were never done before. When you came down with these diseases like AIDS or other things like that, you died. So you got to learn to do right from wrong. You're dealing in a situation where you refuse to do right. You refuse to do what is right and wrong, even though you know what's right and wrong. And you won't even acknowledge it. And the Catholic Church, the celibate priest, or the priest, the pastors, you name it, they refuse to come out with what is correct, and they know what they're doing is wrong. And they have used women to help women and children to help get the funding they wanted for AIDS so that they could have the kind of sex that they wanted. It's that simple. Now let's get back to the burning that's going to happen in California. Because I warned you about the burning as it happens at, at coming up soon, because I'm in the process of moving. This will be laid out in a document and it will come up online as to when the punctuation of the firestorms and the hurricanes and the storms are all coming up. And they're all laid up and they, they are named and follow my case. Period. Now, it took me a long time just to come up with the notion of understanding reincarnation because I didn't get it. And like everyone else, I just thought about, you know, the God, the Father, which didn't make any sense to me. And then I had a hard time understanding what God, the Mother, is about. But at this point, there's been so much emphasis on alchemy and fire and all these other things that what you're dealing with here is it really about the weather God. And we're going back to the Noah deal. You don't have a deal. That rainbow was supposed to remind you of what this deal was about. Um, it's called the Shabbat, and the Shabbat is called the scepter. So those seven components were the seven major laws that went with the scepter, and you understand what the deal is, but there is no deal. And as I've said in some just recent videos, and I've said before this even, um, you, don't, you don't have a deal with heaven. So I... For years now, I've been trying to get things opened up for the Chinese, bringing Australia and New Zealand, linking us up to Canada. Um, and it was the LGBTQ and the Black Lives Matter group that didn't want it. By the way, I'd like to thank uh, those of you who work with President Trump. Of course, there was, and I'm sorry, the name of the lawyer escapes me, but I did say... And I have said all along that um, Bill Cosby is no different than any of the other white men, and he deserves to have the extension of a three-year moratorium to come out with what he has to say, because I am almost certain he was part of a pay-for-play. And I understand that these women are saying, wait a minute, I was sexually abused. And I think there's so much more involved in that story than you even can fathom. Just like Maxwell needs to have this. So let's come back to this weather. Um, during the period, which is the fifth house, and you call it Leo. We're going to call it the great dog from now on because that's what the Sumerians were initially really looking at it. I'm not interested in the Sheldians. They're all witchcraft. And it really, it looks like the great dog. Um, and that great dog, when we look at it, the 
from the Earth perspective, what we're seeing, the planets on a regular basis, is Jupiter. And it starts about the end of what we call the end of July, which we're going to change. We're not going to name things for Roman and people or Greeks anymore. So from the end of July until about mid-September, thereabouts, we're seeing Jupiter. And we're seeing Sagittarius around that area from the Earth. We're one. The sun is not one. We're one. Oh, wow. Okay. We're one. So from the earth, this is what we're seeing. That means, and it shouldn't be Jupiter, that means we should be looking at weather at that point. And we should be remembering the God over all of our weather who's responsible to making sure that we have rain or that we don't have too much rain. And we have to remember the things that he would have us remember and how we have to behave as couples and as fathers, as brothers. It's important to remember this, but you're not. You worship a crazy sun god who's a drag queen half the time like Apollo and is interested in golden games. Yeah who sleeps around at everything. And that's neither Pindar, we're gonna go in and take a look at it, Adad, Taru, Tishab, Set. None of them act like this. But you worship the sluts. And you worship the sun. And you have all your games. And it's all fun and games. And so now during LGBTQ month, all of California and the West Coast that thinks it's so cool and even parts of the East Coast are burning up. Now for a few months I've been saying burn baby burn. Burn. I've known this burn. Go ahead burn. I'm blowing. Those are your hurricanes and your tornadoes. You think I'm kidding, I'm not. Let's take a look at what the goddess looks like. Come out of me. Again, I'm the December the 12th for the Guadalupe. I'm more for the Mary of Magdalene, daughter of Zion of Sarah. Here we go. This is actually Hippa. They call it Artemis of Ephesus. When you look closely, she's got the constellation that goes around it. She's got the zodiac towards the top. And all of life comes out of her. And this is Kuan Yin, the goddess over part of creation and compassion. Then there's the Anara. There's Lin. There's Aurora. But let's come out of this for a moment and let's go into this. Hadad. Was the storm and rain god in the Canaan in ancient Mesopotamia? Tishab was the hurrying god of sky, thunder, and storms, and Taru was the Simmer Hadak storm god and was worshipped as a primary deity. Adad in the Old Testament. Raymond, West Semitic God of Storms, Thunder and Rain, the bull was the symbol animal of Hadad. And um, in, in um, Genesis 49, Jacob reprimands, absolutely reprimands Simon and Levi for cutting down a bull. Hadad the god of rain and fertility. Storm god Tishab, Egyptian god Set. For those of us, I mean, now you should begin understanding. Maybe you need to be spending some time. He's not vampire. Adu, storm god, culture is Greek. Okay, here we go. I think there's a relationship between Bella and Hadab, who's really related to Shishab. Exactly. 
and their chief wife. Now, this is what's important about this conversation. Their chief wife, the one who has nothing to do with prostitution, war, death, sex, other than bringing your soul back, is hip hop. I want to come back here for a moment so that we understand. Let's see if they have this, if the word P-Duck is here. Oh, yes, here we go. So here's where we get the name Father, Pedar. It's also called Father. All right. Now, he's not Zeus. He's not a slut like Zeus. He is not. His consort can be Shala. And this is important because Shala or Hippa. Shala is really the daughter of Tashu, of a... Of a of a uh, hippot, yes. All right, and Levant, and here we go. And he's got the same symbol for the hurrying god Tash, uh, Teshub. He's got the same symbol for it. Now, his consort is not Shala. Shala was an ancient Sumerian goddess of grain and emotion and compassion, and the symbol of grain and compassion. All right, this is actually the daughter that comes down. Yes, we represent the Shala, or the Sala. And unfortunately, the Levites, and in Hebrew, you've just made her just a little pronoun for ownership and in, in modern Hebrew, and that is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Shala is actually the constellation Virgo, and we are now, Virgo is in Regulus, men have been fighting this left and right so here let me help you with this you want to keep fighting the binary you do then you can starve because heaven knows no sympathy for men we don't care about your egos they don't care about what you're thinking you know about the laws of cause and effect you know that if you do x y and z it creates that kind of pollution all of the churches know that you can say, I'm sorry, until the cows come home, but until you go and clean up your mess, it's meaningless. Okay? Having a private confession means nothing. Your private confession is between you and God and somebody who's saying to you, you need to go out publicly and clean up your mess. That's not the church. It's not these men. They don't do this. It doesn't happen. Never. Never, ever, ever. They want your dirty hands, and they want to play with them. There we go. That's what the Brotherhood of Men is about. So let's come back out of me for a moment. Let's go see this. And here we go, Hippot. Now, she is known by so many different names, but she's the consort of the weather god, and she is the mother of all living things all living things and she was re recognized as mother of all living things the matini that spoke a kind of sense you know that worked with sanskrit that were indo-european when they came over they used um hip-hop in naming some of their queens there's a body hip-hop this is out this is one of the last kings in jerusalem i i mean that's a king this is an ambassador king and he calls himself the servant of Hippa. And then they have Tadu Hippa, who goes on and becomes an Egyptian queen and consort. I, I mean, there's Gilda Hippa and Tadu Hippa. And they're all Hippa. There's Hippa. And then the Greeks turn around and turn it into Hephaestus, which is a crazy god because they gender ban that one. And they take Hera, who are, is the Hurrian, and make her the recipient of a horrific... Thracian Zeus, who does nothing but sleep around and undermine her own children. So this has nothing to do. The Greeks and the Italian gods have nothing to do with heaven and have everything to do with the end of a man's penis. Let's call it as it is, because that's how God sees it. That's it. And that's all it means. You think I'm offensive? 
Have you seen the pornography that goes around this world? Have just the thought that you told women that they are fallen because they know to put their clothes on and they know right from wrong. You want to talk about an abomination before heaven. It doesn't get worse than you. I'm seeing Robert Zephyr recently did a piece where he talks about different types of priests, oh, and samurai, and how the samurai, like the Greek men, slept with youth men, and how their heroes did, and how their priests did, and how their women were just for having babies. There is no intelligent life to be found here. There's no, there's, it's not possible. There's no intelligent life found here. Nothing. There's no piece of intel. The only thing you're going to find in the writings of these men and what comes out of their mouth is evidence of the crime. That's all they have is evidence of crime. So as we are approaching now, oh, we have the Olympics coming up, great games. And as the United States is burning and the hurricanes are hitting you, we have these men, their magic and the LGBTQ to thank for this. That's right. And their fear of the binary that profits from the Bible, even from Odin, even Nostradamus and Joachim of Fear and others knew this was coming and wrote about it. And they knew that the priests were lying about this all along. They knew it and they wrote about it. So I'm not getting my information from some crazy women that are out there. I'm getting it from the Bible, from biology, and from male prophets. And God the Father. Remember I told you I've only had St. Paul, Jesus, and God the Father. Everything else is my karma. So, we should be praying to Tishop. We should be thanking Tishop. We should be apologizing. We should be seeing what we have to do. We should be praying for life. God the Mother. Because inside your body, you are a tree of life. Every cell in your body has its own intelligence. It's made up of different composites of other beings. You are a tree of life in your own body, let alone the other critters that are living inside of your body and on top of your body that help to maintain your body or make your body sick. So your body is in itself its own tree of life and your soul comes in giving life to all of the other cells. But of course you don't like to know that because these men, that it's all about fire and men. And I honestly, really, I've already told you why your purpose was here. Now as you're burning, I've been singing, I mean, they hear me. My monitors hear me as I sing, burn, baby, burn. They have to get me to go out there and do this case. And believe me, I've wanted to. But God, this is now in God the Father's hands. This is not a chick thing. I mean, they've already said that since 2011, these dry spells and these hurricanes that have been coming since 2017 are all affiliated with my case. And they've been saying this is an anomaly. They think this is part of global warming, but the fact of the matter is global warming should have been creeping up on us much faster, and it didn't. In 2004 and 2005, I had things going on that was part of this case even then. This is part of my case what you're getting hit on big time. I told you they set up this whole pandemic and it was done with an organization at Yale that does HIV research that hooks up with Wuhan. Everything ties back 
to the men's club and the celibate men and their temper tantrums because they did not want to tell you the truth. All right. So you're getting hit by God the Father. And as you remember your rainbow, you just remember the LGBTQ as they run around sticking their middle finger up at God nonstop, saying oh, you can't do anything to us as like the dragon in the sky sticking its middle finger up at God you can't do anything to us and I told you when you die and you review your life I mean okay so you're gonna burn up and you're gonna starve the United States is gonna know real starvation so will Canada and then Europe and then everybody falls all because men would not accept a real LGBTQ that it was wrong and that it would not accept goddesses that weren't slut goddesses and not just a virgin Mary. Hippa has nothing to do with war. Ariana has nothing to do with war. Upas has nothing to do with war. Machabit has nothing to do with war. None of these gods have anything to do with that or prostitution or being the consort of a multitude of porn or, or all of your wives. They all have faithful husbands. And they are faithful wives. And they work together. There you go. But you have to go before 2000 BC in order to see them because they don't exist when the age of Aries comes in. Alrighty, thank you for your time. I just wanted to let you know, I mean, and I tried to get your education system put in place. I mean, I've known about how you needed these high schools that would be preparing kids for disaster as a post-education with the military. I, I mean, I've known about all these things. I knew about the coast going, I, hey, a lot of us did. All right, I'm disgusted. It's now in God's hands. And God has prevented me from doing certain things. And God the Mother has prevented me from doing certain things. And it's because it really is about God. And not about you or me. We learn from this. Thank you. Namaste.